Magic and pure damage. If she rotates into one of these lanes, uh, especially top, she can completely upset the balance there and potentially look at a, a three lane victory from Ivy in this lane stage. We do have a rotation from Cube, and we are definitely looking towards these runes for the Batrider. We'll be able to shut him down and guard the active runes. First blood. Makes his life difficult, but the first blood actually comes on the DP. Picked up by the Doom. I don't think any of us expected this. I was watching the runes. Yeah, same. I mean, now I'm watching top lane because we do have the rotation in. Queen of Pain yeah. hasting up towards top, finding the takedown on Pleb, and Lodi stranded here in the trees. That Two kills there for Ivy. Perfect. What a call from right. on the ward again. Uh, yeah, still under vision. They're all being pinged out. It looks like they've got an idea that there's still vision around here, but Ivy will set up for the move forward, but on to maybe next time. Onslaught in, not going to work out though. The Shackle Shot flashing off the Doom in the back, and the Pulverize with that Sonic Wave clears through him. DP with the XO, trying to burst through maybe next time, but they've got that Guardian. No Dean trying to keep them alive, but the magic damage now being burst Radiant through. DDG lose three heroes, and this Radiant's could be a quick shift into the. We could see five minutes from now, then smoke up on Aegis Exploration and then take a really good fight. Yeah, maybe, maybe even before that, right? With the triple BKBs. Might feel comfortable fighting Dyer's straight into it. Look at Blue Plat. Apple Traps. Gets the roots. Nets up the Queen of Pain and solo kills her. Oh, Pleb, yes. What a gamer. Just hides there, waiting for her. Sets the, tra sets the trap and springs it. And look at that lovely ward that they have just down there in that jungle that spotted the cloth and let him make that play. Maybe next time does die solo to the Weaver top, but I don't think they can. Nothing there for Ivy to catch. Ivy are playing well. They're not forcing it really hard. Uh, I like. I love the instant smoke up. It makes a lot of sense just knowing. Okay, no lasso. We can definitely fight, but they don't want to dive into it. And now we've got to catch on the wind. Uh, no, the wind ranger. No deny. Low skill. Dusted up by maybe next time. Oh, the timing of this. Also Max. Time to plan. Max is close, and he's got his BKB. Low skill does have the Aegis, so with that and time lapse with the Lincolns, plenty of lives to play around with. And JM did pop his Exo here, silenced up the Batrider. See what MTD does, because he does have BKB, but with no lasso, I don't know, does he, does he turn and try and fight into Exorcism? He might come join his teammates and try and <clears throat> get the, the Aegis off the Weaver. If they're able to just quickly snipe that, I mean, he has time lapse. I think he's waiting for Shikuchi to be a little bit lower cooldown before he pops it, purges the dust, gets his health back, and then just Shikuchi's away. Um, yeah, because you don't want to do it when it's like four seconds left, because then you just die. Right, clicking everyone, any sentries, any dust, any anything? No. Nope. MTD Batrider's going to fire fly up to the high ground. Weaver still alive. No skill, rebounded upon, but there's the time lapse back. Going for that blink now as well, just to be able to Radiant's help deal with all these mobility heroes, Queen of Pain, the Weaver. If you're able to go on Queen, force her blink, and then just follow, you know blink after her, that's that's massive. So no Lincolns yet, and Troll with the net will catch out two kills here for DGG. That observable there getting... Pope, guys, get back in there! Yeah, Pleb. Pleb knows it. He feels, feels it in his bones. And they've got a drag back on JM Vicento down at bottom lane, MTD. He spends the lasso, but doesn't quite finish her off. And now the TP home. Oh, that's close. Oh. Dies in fountain, doesn't she? Yeah. Sad for him. It was so close. And now the smoke from DGG, they've actually halted their Roche take. They want more kills. They're bloodthirsty. They're going to see the Queen of Pain. They will. The Bash, the Stun, and now the Doom. They've got the AoE Doom. So that catches Max as well. That is so massive. It just... The Trans gets the first hit Bash off the ranged hit. Low percentage chance of that. Now the melee Bash to pair up with it. Shackle Shock will be there to hold him back, though, allowing Max to get a bit of distance. But Troll with the blow closes that quickly. They need another shackle shot here. Battle Trance is out from Blair, chasing forward. Gets the axes in and the root bash. He just chain stuns the Wind Ranger down. MNT looking to dive tier three. He's Pleb really feeling himself. He got the infernal play, the bash, the stuns. He just can't move. The Weaver locked in place. They can't press the buttons when the Pleb troll is up in your face. They get the dive into tier threes. Kill off the DP. Queen of Pain's dead elsewhere as well. She was fighting in a 1v1 against the back. Go again. I, I am struggling Radiant's to think of how they have to defend attack. their high ground. It's it's very difficult. It's just you don't have any like displacement tools. Yeah, and you get, if you get a jump like this, you have to move your hero straight off the bat. Max gets his BKB out. The 
Doom. He jumps in the back. The AoE one on the Queen of Pain. And the Onslaught across puts Max in even more danger. Only is going to hunt them down into tier fours. Ivy down two heroes now. Damn, Vincento. Pull out inside that Doom. The third one falls. Final Beast and Weaver. They're being dealt with in the back lines. Hunted and killed. That's GG call. And the road ends here for Ivy. And Steve GG will move on. Like, honestly, I, I didn't expect this. Not to...